as promised, I'm back with some more brisk AI because I think um, those depth of knowledge questions are awesome, but then you're going to get to the end and you're going to want to assess. So I can use my brisk for that too. I'm going to come down here and same text. I'm going to click create. And this time I'm going to create a quiz. And this is just completely awesome. So I'm going to choose ninth graders. If your group has a slightly lower reading level, you could possibly choose a lower grade level. Um, it just sort of depends. You can select state standards on the premium one. We're not going to do that because we're doing a culinary lesson anyway, right? And right now it's set to multiple choice. It also does short and long response. But I'm just going to hit next. And now here's a really awesome part. It will create it right into a Google form. So I'm going to click Google form and I'm going to brisk it which sounds like food too. Definitely a foodie week. <laughs> so now we are brisking and we have a Google form that is creating itself like magic. I'm not doing anything here. Um, the internet seems to be running a little slow right now. But here we have the form populating. And it's got all the questions. Pops up nice and ready to go, right? Um, lots of just, these are simple basic level sauces, right? This is, this is telling the difference between um, the sauces, okay? Not that advanced. Um, I can also go back. Now, one thing I don't like about it is you can't mix your questions, right? So now if I want to create and I want to do another quiz, but this time, instead of being multiple choice, let's make it short response. And let's just make this a Google Doc. So if it's short response, um, it's easier for me to grade, honestly, if it's just in a doc. So if they're typing answers, for me, it's gonna be easier for me to grade in a doc, although you can totally do this in a Google form too. Um, it does take a little time, right? Like we're waiting for it to generate. Um, and here we go. Who was credited? What are three techniques to make it thick and stable? Which ones start with a roux? What is the main ingredient of bechamel, right? Lots of great questions um, to talk to students about, right? Now, down here, once we do it, we can rewrite. We can make it more difficult, less difficult. You can translate it. Um, you can create the answer key. You can do long response. So um, write more long response questions for the quiz above in this current document. So just going to keep generating, OK? And you can generate as many as you want until you feel like you have the questions you need. And I might not, I probably wouldn't use all of these, right? Um, but what I could do is say, oh, I really like, uh, you know, question five, the unique characteristics of uh, this sauce, right? Okay, so I hope this gives you some great ideas and helps make planning lessons a little bit easier. Have a great week.